this is Robert. With Exploring the Local Life, how are you? <laughs> Today we wanted to talk about how to deal with family reactions. Yep, everybody's gonna have a reaction. Super fans. They're like, oh my gosh, that is the greatest thing ever. I wish I could do it. And then you'll find friends that said, oh yeah, back when I was a kid, we had an RV and it was the greatest thing. Yeah. And others that maybe didn't have such a good time. Yes. But they have memories. <laughs> but this is going to apply whether you are doing this as a single person, a couple, or a family. And I think that if you're traveling with your children or if you're traveling by yourself, especially if you're a female, you're going to have a lot more negative reactions and concerns about safety and some things that kind of make sense but when taken in the level of at the level of their reaction acting and, and, and being negative it's a little bit irrational and, and out there so how do you handle that first things first you're going to want to have a plan and when you have that plan make sure it's detailed you know plan on what you do know and uh, you always want to have a plan for a backup. And make sure you have that before you start talking to your family about what you're looking to do. Because if you know your plan and you believe in what you're doing, you'll be able to be convincing. Uh, you, you won't convince everybody, but you'll be convincing in that you know what you're trying to do. At least you'll see that you're confident and that you've thought about it. Um, that will go a long way. And also, it'll build your own confidence in stepping out So it's one of those things, you know, be prepared and plan. Just like you're planning for your RV, plan for what they may say. See things from their perspective as well. That way you can emphasize, empathize with them in their fears. But in, in the end, don't let other people's fears rule you or your decisions. That's right. Remember that research you've done. Remember those plans that you have. Your dreams, your heart, and the fact that, that this is something that you're doing for you, that you're doing for your family. Um, and just keep your why you're talking about it to other people you know don't let others determine what you want to do really i mean if it's, it's something that you research plan for and, and want to do yeah you always want to have in that plan your backup plans like i said earlier and have an emergency you may have parents that are very much about well son we just sent you to college and now you're going to be wasting it all on the road uh, what if uh, what if that uh, online work doesn't work out for you? <laughs> or, um, you know, tell them, you know, you have a future. You, you know, uh, if you were smart enough to make a coherent plan, you're smart enough to understand it may fall apart. Uh, but, you know, that happens in real life, too. Some people have followed the path perfectly to what you're supposed to do, and it's all gone to pieces. Yeah, we're doing this because we chose to. If you're doing this because you chose to, make sure choose wisely and make sure that it's all ready to go yeah okay the last point I wanted to talk about and this is more Robert than Jessica are those people that are going to hate whatever you do that are always in your business and trying to control your lives uh, we've been on Facebook busy bodies busy bodies, busy bodies. Um, and there's even toxic acidic busy bodies out there and so what I want to address real quick is, you know, we've been on Facebook in different full-timing groups and unschooling groups and homeschooling groups, and we see folks that are trying to live their lives the way they want to, to give themselves maximum freedom. But you'll have family members and even friends that will talk everything down. They will always be negative influences to the degree that sometimes... And even beyond that, like threatening, threatening. and just, you know... We're going to we, call the, the local police on about. you, you know, we know craziness. And like we said earlier, have your plan believe in your plan have uh, if you have a trusted friend or trusted family member check out your plan back it up um, look at for at it for inconsistencies and if you can do that and believe yourself have it ready to go
but these people that will always involve themselves in your life, that are always going to try to make you feel guilty for what you're doing, that are going to disagree with what you dress your kids with, what school they go to, what school they don't go to, how often they come to visit, they don't need to be in your life. Sure, send a Christmas card, call them on the phone, but when it comes to what are you doing with your kids, forget it. Look out for number one, and that's you, your spouse, and your kids. Don't keep them in the loop. They don't need to be in there. On Facebook, they don't need to see everything you're doing. There's different tools to block what they see. Anyways, keep it real. Keep full-timing. That's right. Let us know if you have any comments or questions or other recommendations, things that maybe you've had to deal with in the comments, and, and we'll keep the community going and active. Find us on uh, Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, or on all the social media. And subscribe, like, and everything else. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye.